Good morning, guys. Honestly, I'm kind of depressed today. Don't really feel like cooking. So I'm going to let somebody else do it for me. And I've been wanting to try these uh, Popeye's ghost pepper wings. Are they nuggets? I'm not actually sure. I'm confused that they're called ghost pepper, but their marketing seems to... Oh, there's a giant shit. <laughs> Pick up after a dog. I'm confused that they market it as like ghost pepper wings, but they also say, oh, but don't worry, they're not actually spicy, they just taste good. Like you can't have it both ways. Like, oh, it's ghost pepper, come by me because I'm spicy, but don't worry, I'm not actually spicy, seems to defeat itself. So I guess it worked, it made me curious, and I'm gonna buy them with the money my wife makes. Damn, capitalism got me again. Well, let's try it anyway. I have the chicken. Oh my God, I think I got way too much chicken. They had to give me this giant bag. I was gonna put it in my fun nom nom bag to try to do some advertising, get someone to buy it. But it's too much chicken for that. So I got, well, is this chicken? Yep, this is, they gave me a biscuit too? I got three orders of this, so I guess I got three biscuits. Ain't nobody want the biscuit. Chicken. Oh, fries, I got fries as well. So this is the only fast food place where I like the fries. Them and Hardee's slash Carl's Jr. if you're on the West Coast. Chicken, loose fry, chicken. Embarrassingly giant bag. You know, this is gonna be so much food. You gotta just like pre take the pants off to expand the waistline. goodness. Oh, she gave me one biscuit. That's nice of her. Oh, she gave me two biscuits. Why? I got 18 wings. 18 ghost pepper wings. If they are actually spicy and too hot to eat, uh, that's going to be a problem. Kitty, you just had lunch, buddy. You just had lunch. You don't want none of this. No, this is daddy's food. I'm so hungry, I've only had salads for two days. I'm sorry. We need some sauce. Misa. No. I ate it. Nope. Look at all this chicken. Sorry, I was still in sunglasses. Forgot because I was outside. And we have my Nom Nom Ranch. Made a bunch of this recently, so need to use it for something. I think it'll be good with the fries. And probably the chicken. Oh, chicken. No. If you haven't seen it, I posted a recipe video on how to make this ranch. Super easy, so good. You should try it. Uh, we gotta try one of these ghost pepper wings. My cat's just going crazy. I don't know why he's like this. Pleasantly spicy. Wonderful crunch. I'm generally not like a big fried chicken wing person. I just like, like my homemade ones where I make them in the air fryer. So they don't have right crispy skin coating. But this is decadent. 
just got that Cajun paprika y southern flavor that you expect from Popeyes, but an extra kick of heat on it. It's kind of like you know how you go to Popeyes and you order like a spicy version of the sandwich or basically any fast food place you get like the spicy chicken and it's not actually spicy it's just like the slightly more flavorful version of the sandwich this is like if they actually wanted to make it spicy so it's not it's not challenging but it's good mmm mmm This is my favorite fast food I've eaten in a while. I mean, I don't really eat fast food, so that's not saying a lot, but this is actually good. Let's try it with the ranch. Oh, Heavenly Father. No, bless me. Oh, something delicious. I'm so glad I decided to try this today. I need a treat in my life. I've been kind of depressed about this and the extent of my injury and the outlook of probably having a lifetime of pain from not having any cartilage left anymore and maybe not being able to get my full motion back because the extent of damage to the bones and to the ligaments and everything, it's bad. but. This is a pick me up I needed. And you know what? Thank you, lady, for the two biscuits. I don't think it actually is supposed to come with biscuits. But I love a free biscuit. Because carbs warm my soul. And these taste relatively fresh. They're buttery, they're not dry. Amazing. Feeling happy is reminding me of something cool I saw this morning. Right before I recorded the intro for this video, I'm out walking around Brooklyn and I saw a pizza squirrel. A squirrel outside on the sidewalk like the whole crust end of a piece of pizza and it was unfortunate I tried to start recording really quick he ran away from me and he ran right up a tree but I was so impressed that he carried the slice of pizza all the way up the tree with him like it was nothing I just sat up there nibbling it I go for you pizza squirrel I love pizza too And then I also saw a black squirrel in Prospect Park, which I know they're around, but they're pretty rare compared to your run-in-the-mill gray squirrel, so that kind of made my day too. Well, two types of rare squirrels, so they a piece of squirrel, black squirrel, and I'm having delicious chicken and fries and two free biscuits with my homemade ranch sauce. As much as I get depressed about the world and my body, it's good to have these pick-me-ups. And it, what is it? A six piece of wings where they might throw in a free biscuit costs $5 plus tax. That's not that bad. A little less than a dollar a wing. And it's probably a fair amount of calories. I'm not even going to think about it. But in terms of, you know, calories per dollar, I think you're doing pretty good. I felt super guilty, though. They gave me that giant, huge plastic bag to carry all my food. Because I got three orders of wings, fries, 
and my wife loves to eat red beans and rice. So whenever I do a Popeyes video, I get her red beans and rice. And I get my food and I turned to walk out and someone came in behind me and they were picking up their order and they just ordered a biscuit, literally a biscuit. I live in an area where that kind of order is common. It's very sad. But I hustled my way out of there with my giant bag of ostentatious luxury shame. But it's okay to be gluttonous every once in a while. Especially if you earn the calories. Which I certainly have the past few days. I've been putting down like 15 miles a day for the past few days and only eating one salad per day. So I'm looking forward to a bigger meal, a little bit of junk food and some protein. Like at this point in my life, probably 50 to 70% of my diet is just like fiber. It was generally good, but I need protein to help heal my arm and build my muscle back as I start doing all my occupational therapy exercises. I have to do things laying on my back, working on like compressing it to try to improve that. I have to work on my pronation, supination, with my wrist. There's a couple other things. I had these funny like 1990s exercise videos online that they like prescribe to you to watch and do. Mm. I do have to make sure I want to save a couple of these for my wife. She's not really a fried chicken fan, but I think she'll like a little taste. Who knew a biscuit and ranch? Mm. You know what, in general, I've been having a great time recently. Living it up on the budget. This past weekend, I got home from my morning walk. I always wake up really early, like 5 a.m. So I'll go out and walk like six to 10 miles, depending on how I'm feeling, before my wife even gets up. So I get home, you know, I got her coffee ready and stuff, and she wakes up and she's like, you know what we should do today? We should get on the train, go up to Connecticut, to New Haven, town we're thinking about moving to. And eat some famous New Haven style pizza. Get Frank Pepe's Pizzeria Napolitana. So I was real excited about that idea. And it only costs like 17 bucks to get on the train. Which is a good deal because it's like two to three hour train ride. It's a long way up there. But totally worth it. Had the best time. Got a large pepperoni and garlic with mozzarella and tomato sauce. Oh my goodness. Their crust is to die for. Their mozzarella was nice and tangy. Pepperoni had that zing to it and just, you know, the garlic on the pizza. I love garlic on a pizza. And they have these local Connecticut sodas called Foxen, I think. And I got a cream soda. One of the best cream sodas I've ever had. Up there with the um, 
locally made cream soda I used to get at a brewery in uh, kind of my hometown, the college town that was next door to my hometown, Columbia, Missouri. There's a place called Flat Branch Brewery. They made this cream soda, this red cream soda, so delicious. And it's what I always got when I ate there. But then we just like walked around the town. It's surrounded by these big parks on bluffs. So we went up in one of them. Had a great view. Had a great hike. Burned off the pizza I just ate. There's a lot of pizza. Then of course on the way home on the train looking at Zillow and Trulia at the prices of houses. Got a little bit depressed again, but at least it was a good day. It's just crazy, like, life has gotten so hard for people. Who didn't buy property in like, you know, 2008 or 2020. Now everything just seems so out of reach because prices have doubled in the past like four or five years. And interest rates have made mortgages insane. Like my rent for a one bedroom apartment right now is $2,000 a month. And we were hoping to do better than that on a mortgage, but it may not be possible because interest rates are so crazy. I try not to think about it all the time, but it's like that thing I need to do to move forward in life and to protect our future. build equity and provide the opportunity to retire instead of throwing your money away on rent where you don't get anything in the long term it just goes away it doesn't go into like a house you own it's heavy So I can definitely wholeheartedly recommend this chicken. I wish it was spicier. And I wish it had a little bit more bravery in the flavor. I would love more garlic, I would love more onion, I would love more paprika. But I know when you go into a fast food place, you're trying to cater to a wide audience whose probably main flavor in their life is salt. Unfortunately, so even like asking people to like taste garlic and stuff might be too foreign to them or something not that garlic's a foreign flavor but you know what I mean like strong flavors make people either love something or hate something medium flavors make people say meh maybe I'll have it again maybe I won't and honestly will I probably ever order these again no, but that's just because I don't eat fast food in my regular life. If I was going to eat at Popeye's though, it might be this, it might be the spicy chicken sandwich that I would get. But this is actually spicier, so I might lean towards this. I 
I do think it's totally a lie for them to call them like ghost pepper wings. There must be the tiniest, tiniest pinch of ghost pepper in it. But that's it. I'm gonna save these for my wife. Mm. All this filling, all this breading is making it filling. Lord. One more little bit of fries. I can't believe my cat tried to take that fry from me. Ooh. Yummy, yummy. Thank you all for watching. Get the wings to try. They're pretty good. I'd say they're probably one of the better things on the menu right now. I like it at least. Love you. See ya.